എല്ലാവർക്കും പുതിയൊരു വീഡിയോയിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം ഇപ്പോൾ ഞാൻ ഉള്ളത് ടെക്സസിലെ സൺ ആൻഡോണിക് റിവറിന് മുമ്പിലാണ് ഇവിടുത്തെ കാഴ്ചകളാണ് ഇന്ന് ഞാൻ നിഗമായിട്ട് പങ്കുവയ്ക്കുന്നത് ഈ കാണുന്ന റിവറിൽ കൂടെ ചെറിയൊരു ബോട്ട് സവാരിയാണ് ചെറുതല്ല അതിമനോഹരമായ ബോട്ട് സവാരി കാരണം സ്കിപ്പ് ചെയ്യേണ്ട ഫുള്ളായിട്ട് കണ്ടോളൂ അടിപൊളി കാഴ്ചകളാണ് അപ്പോൾ നമുക്കിവിടെ ടിക്കറ്റ് എടുക്കാനുണ്ട് ടിക്കറ്റ് എടുത്ത ശേഷം നമുക്ക് രാത്രി തുടങ്ങാം ഇവിടെയാണ് ടിക്കറ്റ് കൗണ്ടർ ഇപ്പോൾ ടിക്കറ്റ് എടുത്തിട്ട് വരാം നമുക്ക് പോകാനുള്ള ബോട്ട് വന്നിട്ടുണ്ട് അപ്പം അങ്ങനെയൊക്കെ യാത്രകൾ വരാം അപ്പം എല്ലാവരും വീഡിയോ കണ്ടച്ച് വരും The reason they put the gargoyles at the top wasn't so that it could look like a ghostbusters building. The gargoyles actually had a purpose. They were supposed to ward off the old spirits in that business. Didn't work. So that building was completed after the Great Depression hit in 1929. Cost $3 million to build. Sold for $300,000. A net loss of $2.7 million. Now what would you do if you woke up one day you're missing $2.7 million from your bank account? I think I'd probably say something like this. the uh, deepest section of the river here it's 15 feet deep yeah it's pretty deep here not a good time to go swimming uh the reason it's so deep is because we have our flood control system here so in case of a flood they will drop this uh water down they'll have up to 15 feet of clearance for any new flood water coming in from the north what's the combination lock do not let your partner get a combination lock it's a ruse they're just uh using you you know leading you on not a good time Up on the left side here, uh, this staircase goes up to San Fernando Cathedral. Now, it's the oldest operating church in Texas from about 1731. And I heard that during the Battle of the Alamo, Santa Ana and his Mexican army, they actually were posted at that church right there. What they did is they raised their flag from a cable down that apartment and they picked out the Battle of the Alamo. Also, I was going to say, uh, So we are in the flood control system, uh, section, right? Yep, we can drain this down. We are actually about to be draining this down here in, I guess, about a week and a half, two weeks. Maybe next week even. And we're going to do it in January. We're going to clean it up, and we can fill it back up later on. And yeah, we got a lot of uh, those bird scooters. You see them everywhere? Yeah, there's a lot of them in this room. A lot of people like to just throw them in. Get them out of here. 320. Ooh, going back to the floodgate, I just want to tell you, it does. 
It does weigh five tons, so I hope it doesn't come down on us right now. And it's also only one of two that come down like a garage door. The other ones, they come up out of the water like a drawbridge. He's actually the patron saint of lost articles as well as a protector of children. And said if you lose something, you can just pray to him and he shall return it, right? Also, if you look behind me, we got a big old building back here behind me. It's the Marriott. It's got two towers on the sides. It's got red signs on it, red and blue lights on the towers. Okay, they're still there. Okay. Didn't worry. That'd be kind of awkward. There's no building there. Going crazy, but I want to tell you that that building is a Marriott. It was made in 1988, but before that, there was another building called the Fairmont, the Fairmont Hotel. Now that building was so old it was deemed a national historic site, and it's actually got a wheel. I guess Marriott was walking along one day, they saw the Fairmont Hotel, and they thought, man, that's a beautiful building, the Fairmont. Hey, that's a pretty good location for a hotel. Congratulations on that one. That was a smart business decision. But you know something? I feel like there's something wrong with your building. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I feel like something's missing. I don't know, I can't quite tell. You know what the Fairmont was missing, don't you guys? They weren't missing that front door, but they were missing was a Marriott sign. Marriott wanted to buy the land that that building was sitting on. That way they could destroy that building, wipe it off the face of the earth, then they're going to build their Marriott where it stood and start selling the wrong hotel. That's how good of a location it was. Turns out it's actually illegal in America to destroy national historic sites. So now, Marriott owns the land that that building's sitting on and they can't get rid of it because it's illegal to destroy. And karma kind of got in there. But you did notice the Marriott is there today and the Fairmont isn't. So even though they bought the land that the building's sitting on, they couldn't destroy it. They must have done something else with it, right? If they couldn't destroy that building, what do you think they did with it? What do you think happened to the Fairmont? If they built around it, the original building sitting inside of this day, you can still see it. Maybe they took it apart brick by brick, built it somewhere else. Guess they could have slapped a new sign onto it and called it a day, right? Alright, I'll tell you what they actually did. What they did is they picked up the entire Fairmont Hotel. They picked up the whole building all at once, put that building on tires, and they drove it down the street to South Alamo and Nueva, where it sits to this day. It has the world record for the largest building to be moved on tires, weighing in 3.3 million pounds. You, can have, you guys can actually see it on YouTube with the Fairmont Hotel 1985. You should see them moving that building. Uh, although, I was going to say it took them months to be out underneath the building, and then when they did finally put it on tires, the movement itself took them five days. So they spent five days just driving that building down the road, causing five days of traffic. I was late to work all five days. My boss called me up and said, hey man, where are you at? I was like, some clowns driving a building down the middle of the road. I can't get rid of them. <laughs> I like, what are you talking about? You're not going to take that route to work. Yeah, it turns out I was just late. He got me, he got me. See that one room shack there? Yes. I recently heard a rumor saying that this one room shack took 18 months to build. If that's true, then it took longer to build that than it did to build that. And that's a 500 room hotel, right? Remember I said around the world fair in San Antonio? Well, we needed to make as many hotels as we could to accommodate all the guests, right? We're about to have a world fair here. Everyone's going to come down and have nowhere to sleep. So, started making as many hotels as we could, one of which was this one. There was nothing but grass sitting here, so they said, let's build a hotel right there, right? They got their plans for the hotel to be built. Got those plans approved by the city. You just need to find a contractor to build that building, and that was the hard part. All the contractors they asked to make this 500 room hotel all said no. They said, no, think about that, that's a 500 room hotel. You know how much money that's worth? That's a pretty tough change. Still, nobody wanted anything to do with this building because, 
Well, the title kept taking too long to build. The World's Fair was their deadline. That was in one year. They thought it would take at least three years to build this building. So they said, sorry, but we can't build this building for you in your time frame. You're just going to have to find somebody else to build it for you. Or let us build it for you late. Could Anybody please build this hotel for us? Ryan is there just about to run out of hope. They did find one guy who said he could do it. His name was Hayes B. Zagger. What he did is uh, he said that he's going to do it for him, right? He said, I'm going to do this project for you, and not only am I going to do it, but I'm going to do it in, uh, in your time frame while taking days off. He's going to take off weekends. Everyone else is saying it's impossible, but he's saying, I'm going to take weekends off. Kind of sounds a little too good to be true, right? Maybe this guy can't do it. He's just trying to swindle him or something. Funny thing is, he did do it in their time frame, and he did take the days off. What he did, he saw those cubes up there, right? Each one of those cubes was a room, and every room was a bathroom. They made those rooms eight miles away in a factory. So eight miles away, they went down the floors, walls, parts of circuitry, electricity, ceiling on top, lights inside. Everything's ready to go. They even fully furnished every room before they sent them over here. So they're ready to be slept in. I guess they didn't want to have to carry up all that furniture up one of the flights of stairs, right? I would not have thought of that. I would have been like halfway through, and I'd be like, ah! Oh, now what they ended up doing is uh, they sent every room over here one by one, stacking every room like a great big Lego set. That was going to take them between three to five years to build that 500 room hotel. It only took them seven months. It has the world record for the fastest time to complete a building of its size in 202 working days. We don't think that's impressive. Remember, apparently that one room shack only took uh, 18 months, a year and a half. Well, that 500 room hotel only took half a year. Alright, this bridge here is the lowest bridge on the river. This is the reason we have that no standing rule, right? If you guys want to stand up right here, I guess I'll see you in a few hours when you wake up. It's the best night's sleep of your life. said to bring good luck to anybody who gets married there. So what people like to do, they bet half their stuff on that island that they're going to be together forever, right? They take their newfound luck and they rush off on their honeymoon to Vegas. But that like you, right? They go to Vegas, they lose faith. They come back broke as a joke. That's not a good for them. Unfortunately, the house always wins. But when they do come back, broke as a joke, and they realize, I don't like it anymore because you don't have money. They come over here on the right side, that's the wrong side. It's an island on the river, right? ഈ വീഡിയോ എല്ലാവർക്കും ഇഷ്ടപ്പെട്ടു എന്ന് വിചാരിക്കുന്നു ഇഷ്ടപ്പെട്ടു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ലൈക്ക് ചെയ്യാനും സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്യാനും നിങ്ങളുടെ വിലയേറെ അഭിപ്രായങ്ങൾ രേഖപ്പെടുത്താനും മറക്കരുത് അപ്പോൾ നമുക്ക് നല്ലൊരു വീഡിയോമായിട്ട് വീണ്ടും കാണാം അതുവരെയായിരിക്കും എല്ലാവർക്കും ബൈ ബൈ
Thank you.